Good day everyone. Once again, this is Teacher Grace, your online math teacher. So today, I am going to discuss this topic, identifying and writing equivalent ratios. So when we say equivalent ratio, it consists of two or more ratios with equal value. To find the equivalent ratio to a given ratio, multiply or divide the terms of the ratio by the same, by the same non-zero number. Alright, example, 2 over 3. Okay, so, paano natin kukuhanin yung kanyang equivalent ratio? So, pwede na i-multiply natin both the numerator and the denominator by the same number pwede yun. So, let's say sa 2. Multiply natin. Ano? 2 times 2 is equal to 4. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. So, therefore, the equivalent ratio of 2 over 3 is 4 over 6. Another. 5 over 7. So, pwede rin natin i-multiply siya kay, uh, let's say, 4. Ayan. So, parehas dapat natin i-multiply sa 4. Itong si numerator sa si denominator. 5 times 4 is 20. 7 times 4 is 28. So, therefore, the equivalent ratio of 5 over 7 is 20 over 28. So, that means para makuha equivalent ratio, i-multiply nyo lang uh, yung numerator sa denominator sa parehas na non-zero digit or non-zero number. Equivalent ratio nya yung magiging result. So, pwede rin namang ganito. So, let's say 10 over 12. Kaya kung kanina nag-multiply tayo, pwede rin mag-divide kayo, no? So, 10 divided by 2 is 5. 12 divided by 2 is 6. So, therefore, the equivalent ratio of 10 over 12 is 5 over 6. So, sa colon form, pwede rin yan sa colon form. So, let's say 3 is to 5 equals to, isipin mo lang, multiply mo pa, halimbawa siya parehas kay 2, pwede yun. 3 times 2 is 6, 5 times 2 is uh, 10. Ayan. Therefore, the equivalent ratio of 3 is to 5 is 6 is to 10. Another, paano naman kung you're going to identify, no, whether the given ratios are equivalent or not. Paano yung gagawing proseso? So, let's say 3 over 4 is equal to 6 over 8. Paano natin ma-justify na yan ay equivalent o kaya ay hindi? So, by means of cross-multiplying, pwede yun. So, let's say ito. 3 times 8, 24. 6 times 4, 24. 24 is equal to 24. Therefore, this given is equivalent ratio or equivalent fraction. Another. One half is equal to two is to four. Ayan, cross multiply natin. One times four is four. Two times two is four. Therefore, equivalent fraction yung ating given or equivalent ratio. Another, paano naman kung in colon, holo, colon form siya? 10 is to 15 is equal to 2 is to 3. O, kapag ganito yung given, just multiply the means. So, yung means, etong nasa gitnang given, ano, or number. And then, yung nasa labas naman, yun yung extremes, no? Ito muna, multiply natin. 15 times 2 is 30. 10 times 3 is 30. Therefore, 
equivalent yung ating ratio. Kasi, yung kanilang product, no, ay the same. Yung product ni mean sa kanilang product ni extremes ay parehas. Another. Two is to five is equal to three is to six. O, ganun ulit proseso. Just multiply the means and then multiply the extremes. 5 times 3 is 15. 2 times 6 is 12. So, therefore, yung given natin, hindi siya equivalent uh, ratios or ratio. Bakit? Kasi yung product ng, ex ng extremes ay hindi equal to the product of the means. Another. 6 is to 5 is equal to 1 is to 2. O, ganun ulit process. 5 times 1 is 5. 6 times 2 is 12. So, therefore, hindi siya equivalent ratio. So, that's all for now. Thank you for watching.